What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Rob the Video Game Hoarder here with the 400 sub contest. So, uh, this is kind of a small contest. I didn't uh, publicize it on all the groups uh, where I usually advertise the videos. Uh, I just posted it on the, you know, the YouTube um, that a new video was coming out, and uh, and uh, that was it. So, you had to watch the video to actually know that there was a sub contest. So, uh, a couple a couple people answered, so that's cool. So they're in. Um, there's two Canadian folks that are my buddies, uh, Matt Hooper and, uh, not, he's not Canadian, he's in Italy right now, sorry, um, and, uh, Roman Dan, of course, who are disqualified because they're out of the U.S., but thank you for the kind words. Um, all right, now let's get over to my computer, and let's see, here we go, so... Let us spin and see who wins. All right, looks like COVID two. You're the winner. So uh, I'll get in contact, or you can get in contact with me either way, and uh, I will send you out a package. Um, I get paid Friday, so probably this weekend or latest Monday when I'm off. So it'll be easier that way. All right, buddy. So. Cool, congrats. Thank you for everybody else for entering. Uh, you guys are awesome, and uh, that's it on that. Um, and let me go back to this now. All right, so we are back here. And um, let me just get uh, my stuff set up for uh, pickups video, because uh, we got one. Uh, because I didn't want to just have this 400 sub contest by itself because it's a quick video, so. Um, and I didn't record any of that shit. Fuck. No, I actually did. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, that's awesome that I just said all that. Uh, anyway, I'm not even going to cut it out. Fuck it. So, um, anyway, uh, let me, uh, pause this real quick and then, uh, we'll jump into the pickups video. Cool. All right. It's Rob the Video Game Order back with a pickups video after the forwarded sub contest that you just saw. So, uh, let me go through some of these. Um, these two, I think there was another GBA game. I can't find it though, but there was a, it's at a yard sale. Um, he was a reseller because I've, I've seen this guy before buying stuff. So, uh, he was just getting rid of some of his inventory, I guess. So um, I got Digimon Racing. I wanted to get a couple other things, but uh, it was just going to get too expensive. So um, Midway Greatest Arcade Hits, Volume 1. I always love those compilation um, games. So I think it was a Turtles uh, GBA game or something. I think it was for 10 bucks. I think it was like scratched up, though, the, the um, label. Wow. Uh... Quick thing for the flea market, I thought these were cool and they were a buck a piece. So, uh, Valiant, which I remember made comics in the 90s, uh, were big for a couple years and then just fizzled out. Uh, had like Magnus Robot Fighter, um, what was it, Ninjak, uh, Harbinger, had a whole bunch of different ones. Um, Came out with, I guess, uh, some Nintendo ones, too. So, uh, this one's not in the greatest shape, but again, for a buck. Uh, it was number two for Super Mario Brothers. Uh, and number two also for Legend of Zelda. So, I thought those were cool for a buck. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This was at a, a random booth that uh, this guy sold uh, a bunch of stuff already. So, I got to him after... Um, this person left this behind though, which is cool. I don't have a system yet, but, um, picked up, uh, Mario Tennis for a Virtual Boy. Uh, it was three bucks, so I figure I want to get a Virtual Boy eventually, so why not pick it up? Um, I picked this up, uh, 
what was it? Um, I picked up two other games. I don't know where they are right now, but it was Banjo and Kazooie for N64, Perfect Dark, and um, Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And I got the little, I guess, memory expansion pack because I think you needed it for Perfect Dark. I think. And I got a controller, which I originally thought was one of the green ones, but it's unofficial, so it sucks. But uh, it's still worth like 10 bucks, I think. So, uh, it's good to have as a backup, I guess. Um, this came out to 15 bucks total. Uh, he wanted 25 I think, originally. Uh... And then the funny thing is, after I told him how much, no, 10, I got for 10, sorry. Um, he wanted 15 eventually, and I said 10. Um, he asked me how much they were worth, and he still gave it to me for 10 anyway. So that was really cool of him. Um, for the Game Boy Game & Watch Gallery number 3. Uh, also for the Game Boy, uh, this one's for the color, uh, Donkey Kong Country. And for the regular NES, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. I always pick these up because uh, you can always trade them. You can always do whatever with them. Um, there's a store owners that I know that always want Mario stuff. So anytime I see it, I pick it up. Um, this was a quick Goodwill pickup. Um, I don't I think I might actually have this on tape. I don't know if I've posted it yet or not. But... Um, this is, uh, these were $4.99 each, so, um, Mario Strikers charged, uh, it's complete, disc is in pretty good shape, and then, uh, the big one, uh, Game and Wario for the Wii U, I think it's still like a $30 game, um, so for $4.99, Especially since my Goodwill lately has been charging $9.99 for everything now, suddenly. Because uh, I guess they decided that video games are worth something. And everything, every video game is worth something. So, um... Alright, I'll go through these uh, Super Nintendo games I picked up. Uh, these were uh, 5 bucks a piece. Uh, a couple titles I don't usually see very often, so that's why I picked them up. Uh, a title like Ultraman, I remember playing when I was younger. has a little scuff mark uh, right there. But other than that, it's in really good shape. Uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, how do you go bad, bad? How do you go wrong? Not bad. How do you go wrong with NBA Jam? Woo, jeez. Uh, Roadrunners Death Valley Rally. Uh, this is another one I don't usually see. Uh, the Tick. Uh, Super Bowling, which I don't really see that often either, and NBA Jam, so they were five bucks a piece. Uh, they wouldn't budge, so I, it wasn't that bad of a deal. Um, now let me go to the big win of the flea market. A couple weeks ago, if people saw my posts in some of the Facebook groups, uh, they would see what I got out of these things. Um, this guy bought out a store. Um, a guy closed the store, bought out his inventory, he had uh, boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. Um, unfortunately I didn't get to it. Uh, the first time, actually they brought out a whole bunch of uh, sealed games. Uh, they didn't want to sell the sealed games to us, they wanted to sell them online. But they were willing to sell everything that was open. So, um, these are from two different weeks. Now. They brought them out, um, and it was, a, it was a couple of us digging through, so, I mean, I didn't get everything, unfortunately, that I wanted from there. But, uh, you know, I got some good stuff. And then the second week, I missed out on so much good stuff by, like, ten minutes. This other guy beat me to it, and I'm so pissed. I mean, he's a friend of mine, but, like, he got, like, Project Justice for uh, Dreamcast. Uh, got, like, a whole 3DO collection, all boxed and uh, complete. Um, it was just ridiculous what he got. It, it, he had maybe like, I don't know, $1,000 worth of stuff, and he got it for like uh, $5 a game. So I, I was so mad. I mean, I still got some leftovers, but, I mean, ah, 10 minutes. 10 freaking minutes. I mean, I should have stopped, not stopped for breakfast, and I would have been there. 
Uh, so, but you know me, I gotta stop for breakfast. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let me go through these. Uh, I got these controllers first. Um, obviously, uh, the batteries are corroded. Whatever batteries came with these things. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, um, I don't see them on these, but I can see the corrosion stuff. Uh, you can see all that white stuff inside the case, but here's a Logitech, um, cordless, uh, PS3 controller, and here's another one. Uh, these came out to basically five bucks a piece, so they're sealed. I figured why not. Um, here is two Spider-Man, uh, yeah, Spider-Man controllers. This one's for Xbox, wireless. I thought these looked pretty cool. Again, I would never use these batteries, because these batteries are probably pretty old. And these are actually corroded. You can see they blew up uh, in the box. So this one's for a PS2, so... Still sealed, a couple bucks again. That was a pretty good deal. All right, now this is the stuff I got from two different two different weeks from that same table. So, uh, including those controllers too. Um, this one sat on the table for a while. I don't know why nobody picked it up, but uh, I don't see these type of games ever. So I had to pick it up. I don't even have a system. So Atari Jaguar uh, Dino Dudes. And it came with the instruction manual. It came in one of these cases. So, uh, again, everything ended up being about five bucks a game. So, especially if you picked up a lot of stuff. Um, P these are all complete, by the way, in pretty good shape. Um, Ninja Assault PS2. Uh, you don't see these a lot either. 3DO uh, Gex. I don't know why, but I always like picking up uh, Japanese games for whatever reason. Uh, for the Dreamcast, the Zombie Revenge. I'll probably never be able to play it, but it uh, still looks cool. Uh, another one for the PlayStation, Parasite Eve. It's a Japanese uh, version. So, it actually has uh, English text, apparently. So I could maybe actually play this. But, um, Biohazard. Uh, Code Veronica, which is obviously Resident Evil um, in the States. So, and then D2. I don't think we ever got D2. I think we only have uh, D here, if I remember right. But, um, Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube. Uh, for the Xbox, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Uh, for the regular Xbox, uh, Fatal Frame. I'll leave this one aside. Um, Platinum Hits with Silent Hill 2. Uh, Xbox, The Suffering. Uh, this is one of my favorite games, probably of that gen of the GameCube, uh, PS2, whatever. Uh, Freedom Fighters. I love this game. I wish they would make another one. Uh, it was such a cool game. Um, I love just picking up uh, random people and just having them build into your army, and it just it, it was really cool. Uh, House of the Dead three on Xbox, uh, Fatal Frame two for PS two, um, Land of the Dead for the Xbox, which I actually really want to play, but uh, it's got some worth to it for whatever reason. Um, Siren, Vampire Knight, which is another game I always wanted to have. I think it's a gun game, though. Yeah, I think you need a gun for it. Uh, Hack Infection, which I think has a DVD and everything. Yeah, it has the, the game and the, the DVD with it. The anime DVD. Uh, Castlevania, Lament of Innocence. Uh, this is a series I always love to play. Guilty Gear 2 or X2. Uh, Monster Rancher 3. 
Final Fight Streetwise. These are some games that I've never seen or, or very randomly see, like this Final Fight game, that Monster Rancher game, Guilty Gear. Uh, this is probably the, the expensive one. It has the manual too. I had this for PS2, but missing the manual. But uh, it was cool to pick up. Uh, complete Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. So, so that was all from that one vendor um, for two weeks, and then uh, the next week or two he brought the same stuff. So I think he's out of uh, the good stuff, unfortunately. But. All right, so that's it for this pickup video. Um, again, I'm going to try to keep on track with uh, Monday release dates and then also try to sprinkle in, uh, you know, uh, videos during a week sometime if I have more videos to post up. Hopefully I will. Uh, and that's about it. So like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and Rob is out.